Atedo Peterside, the founder of ANAP, the polling firm that constantly predicted victory for Peter Obi in the presidential elections that held on February 25, 2023, has come out now to say that the results released by the Independent National Electoral Commission are an insult to the intelligence of people. Now, he doesn't say anything about the results that we saw from some places, especially in the Southeast, that gave incredible figures for Peter Obi. He seems to accept that, where his own issue are results that came from other places. But some people will ask Mr. Atedo Peter said that, how come results where Atiku Abubakar and Bola Tinibu got between 50 to 60 percent of the votes are rigged, but in areas where Peter Obi got 97 percent of the votes, they are not rigged. For example, we saw the result sheet signed by Cynthia Okeke with several deletions kept on increasing the numbers for Labour Party. Now that's good. And there were others like that from Isaac, from other places all over the Southeast. Those were good. But then in areas in the north, in the north central, in the southwest, where the other people got like some reasonable votes, they are rigged. Now, can we say that this is actually politics without bitterness? Anyway, watch this video, put your comments in the comment section. Now, each one to his own. Look, if they go through this process and the judges convince us everything was done correctly and we adopt the numbers, whoever is the winner will congratulate the person. But for now, it's premature. I mean, I, I mean, when I can see with my own eyes what INEC has uploaded, part of what they've, they've up, uploaded is an insult on anybody's intelligence. So I think it's premature. They're just people who are rushing to congratulate probably have not taken the trouble to even look at the available information or the evidence. In case, each one to his own. Well, um, Mr. Peter Said, we've, we're literally almost out, out of time. After all the complicated politics and tensions following the presidential election and all the issues around alleged manipulation, fraud and disenfranchisement, what are your expectations for the governorship elections on Saturday? Briefly. It, it's a chance for the INEC chairman and others to redeem themselves. They should insist everybody should upload the results immediately after voting. We cannot have one or two states hold back the results and start tamping endlessly, claiming they could not, they could, they could not transmit the results. So, I mean, INEC cannot fail twice. So, so first time you can give them, you know, you can say, okay, they were trying out new systems. They can't repeat the same mistake now for goodness. Master, only one man against the old world in large Fighting with them monsters, poverty I can't stand